Namaste. This is Ali, and this is a short guided yoga nidra experience to calm and soothe and reset your nervous system. We'll be exploring a couple of different techniques that are meant to help take you into a deep state of consciousness that is called yoga nidra. Please take your time to get completely comfortable, taking a moment to grab any support that you need, like a pillow or blanket, maybe cushions for behind your knees. And as you're settling in, once you've got any items that you need for support and your body situated, we'll take a moment to bring tension into the whole body. And you can do this physically or you can imagine. Imagine your whole body tightening up and filling with tension. Or you can literally and physically squeeze your muscles. The legs, curling up the feet, thighs, glute and torso muscles, arms, hands, face, everything tight or just imagining everything all tightened up. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, everything releases completely. All of the tension melting and letting go. Completely effortless. And then take another deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. And one more time like that. A deep breath in. Letting it all go. And this time, two sips in through the nose. Releasing slowly through the mouth. Any last little bits of tension, softening and letting go. Are there any adjustments you could make now to get your body even 1% more comfortable? It's always worth it to support yourself and your experience in this way. Allow yourself, your physical body, to start settling deeper down into stillness. And imagine you could gather all of the scattered thoughts of the mind gently gathering them together and letting your attention draw inward, sensing your whole body. As if presence could drop down from the thinking mind into your body. Let yourself open to the experience of this moment. Noticing the ears, not just hearing, but listening. Listening to all of the different sounds. Welcoming the flow of air and fragrance within your nostrils. Sensing the light or darkness beyond your eyelids as your eyelids relax and become heavy. 
noticing inside the mouth, and you might trace your tongue along the front of your top teeth, along the front of your bottom teeth. Welcoming any tastes on the taste buds. Noticing any sweetness that might be lingering here. And relaxing the tongue. Feeling your whole body. Whole body resting on the earth. Noticing the rhythm of your breath. And the sensation of the lungs rising and filling within the chest. And then emptying out. With each exhalation, feel yourself landing and settling into the sweet embrace of the earth. Could you encourage your attention to gather in at the heart space? Noticing feeling Noticing the breath at the heart. Perhaps you can sense the sacred beat of the drum of your heart now. And it's time to welcome your intention, your sankalpa, Calling it in now with feeling and sincerity. And if you don't have a sankalpa that you're working with at this time, you might welcome the simple phrase, I support all of the layers of myself by resting deeply now. Repeating your sankalpa three times mentally whispering. And now, rotating attention through the body. And you might imagine your attention gliding gently like a little stream of light or energy, prana. Starting in the center of the crown of the head the very top of your skull to the center of your forehead, the mind's eye center, to the right eye, the left eye, the right nostril, the left nostril, the tip of the tongue, the root of the tongue, the right ear, the left ear, the throat center,
the base of the throat. The heart center at the sternum. The right side of the chest. Right shoulder. Elbow. Wrist. palm of the hand, the tip of the thumb, the tip of the next finger, and the next one, and the next one, and the small fingertip, back to the palm wrist, elbow, shoulder, right side of the chest, waist, hip, the knee, the ankle, Heel of the foot, sole of the foot, the tip of the big toe, and the next toe, and the next one, and the next one, and the small toe, the top of your foot ankle, knee, hip, a sense of the whole right leg, and now the whole right side of the torso and arm, and the whole right side of the body together. Sensations, warmth, energy, aliveness. Imagine your whole right side of your body becoming saturated with breath, energy, sensation. Could you welcome the whole right side of the body and the left hemisphere of the brain simultaneously? And letting your attention gather back in the center of the heart. The left side of the chest the left shoulder, elbow, wrist, palm of the hand, tip of the thumb, tip of the next finger, and the next one, the next one, and the small finger to the palm of the hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, left side of the chest, waist, hip, knee, ankle, heel of the foot, sole of the foot, tip of the big toe, tip of the next toe, 
and the next one, and the next one, and a small toe, the top of the foot, ankle, knee, hip, the whole left leg, the whole left side of the torso and arm, the entire left side of the body becoming saturated with awareness, aliveness, warmth, and sensation. You might imagine you could feel the flow of breath and energy in the left side of the body. The whole left side of the body and the right hemisphere of the brain. And now, both sides of the body together. Could you divide your attention equally between both sides of the body and welcoming both hemispheres of the brain? Noticing the flow of breath and energy throughout your body, the natural rhythm of breath. Let your attention begin to gather at the center of your forehead. And as you feel this natural inhalation and exhalation, might you imagine you could breathe in through the center of your forehead. Breathing in and out at the mind's eye. You might imagine you could breathe in to the center of the brain, the pineal gland, and back out through the forehead. Just imagining. There's no wrong way to do this. Inhaling through the center of the forehead to the center of the brain. Exhaling. And the next time that you inhale through the mind's eye, could you exhale to let your attention drop down to the heart space, inhaling through the heart and back up to the mind's eye center, and exhaling from mind's eye back down to the center of the chest, the heart. Just imagining Inhaling from heart to center of the forehead. Exhaling from forehead down to the center of the heart. Natural rhythm of breath.
imagining, inhaling from heart up to the mind's eye, exhaling from mind's eye down to the heart center. releasing this. Could you imagine your whole body just gently floating on the breath? Letting the breath become like waves, gentle waves flowing in and flowing out, nothing to do but rest ever so deeply in the arms of awareness. Cradled by awareness itself, the intelligence of life that is all. You might imagine with the waves you're merging with the whole ocean of prana around you. Sensing into the vastness of the sky above you. Reconnecting to your own sky-like nature. Vast as the sky. Would you welcome your sankalpa, your intention to be everywhere?
every molecule of the ocean and the sky resonating in the energy of your sankalpa. Your intention absorbed in the vastness of the sky. And sensing that delicate current of the breath in and out. And begin to trace around the outline of your body attention from the crown of the head all the way down and around the right side of your body and beneath the soles of your feet towards the left side of your body back up towards the crown of your head Sensing the whole back of your body and the whole front of your body and the volume that exists within your body, the space. Sensing the earth beneath you and the sky above you. And might you once again welcome your sankalpa. Call it into your heart space. And mentally whisper it as you begin to re-emerge from this practice. And as you awaken, you might take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, and you might start movements with nodding your head from side to side, or you might once again trace the tongue around the front of the teeth. And bottom. You might touch the thumbs to the fingertips one by one, feeling sensations, or slowly moving the toes, a full body stretch. If you were waking up first thing, in the morning, what might your body need here and now? <sighs> and take a moment to notice how you feel after taking this time to reset. To reset through all of the different layers of yourself physical body, notice how you feel in the mood, the emotions of the body, the mind, the nervous system. You might consider this practice like a reset, if you imagine your brain like a computer with 
all of these different programs running and all of these different tabs open simultaneously begins to get bogged down and taking this time to reboot the systems to close all of the tabs and the programs to shut everything down hit the restart button recharge the batteries to full capacity these practices have a cumulative effect on the nervous system and in these practices we actually have the ability to reprogram the subconscious mind so you might think of that as clearing out some of the viruses or some scars that are unhelpful the neural pathways the thought patterns that are unhelpful and then replacing those with your seed of good intent, with your sankalpa, your intention. So just taking this next few moments to notice how you feel, to thank yourself for taking this time, to perhaps connect with me in the comments if you'd like to share your experience with me Again, my name is Ali, and I'm so grateful that you're here. It is my personal belief that transforming your own life by calming and soothing your nervous system and taking care of yourself in a compassionate and nurturing way has profound ripple effects out into the world for the good of all beings. So thank you for helping me to create that peaceful impact on the world. The world truly does need more peace and beings who are operating from a calm and balanced state. So I can't thank you enough for your contribution by being here today. You might let me know in the comments what you've noticed with a yoga nidra or meditation practice over time and the cumulative effects that you're noticing in your life not just maybe on your own self but on your relationships and the way that you respond to the world around you and if you would like to learn more about yoga nidra i am going to leave a couple of educational videos at the end of this recording so that you might learn a little bit more about what is a sankalpa for example, or what is the difference between yoga nidra as a state versus the techniques that we use to explore yoga nidra. And know that if you'd like to study with me, there are a few different opportunities that you can find on my website. One is the ability to practice live with me online through our School of Living Yoga online studio, which is a wonderful place full of beautiful beings where we practice yoga nidra, explore workshops, restorative yoga, all sorts of things with myself and my wonderful team. And then we also have in-depth yoga teacher trainings online with students from all over the globe which are beautiful containers of learning and community as well as the opportunity to explore full week-long retreats with myself and my team in tropical destinations like costa rica as always know that you can also find these recordings for download on my website and i look forward to practicing yoga nidra again with you in the future thank you again for showing up for being here, for practicing today. May you be peaceful, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be free. Namaste.